This is the 10 Minute Contrarian Podcast. This is VP. We are a solutions based podcast diving into the world of contrarian investing and alternative finance. You can find us hosted on the No Nonsense Forex YouTube channel, nonsenseforex.com, and podcast players everywhere. Episode 20 is brought to you by markets.com. If you are outside of the United States and you like something that is feature rich when it comes to your broker, this is where you want to be. In the blog for markets.com, which I will leave down below, which is also where you can find my affiliate link, which will get you hooked up. I list all the cool things they have there, but one thing I don't think I really touched on was when I spoke about Blueberry Markets last week, I mentioned how you can trade the top 50 stocks in the United States, uh, which I think is very cool, but on markets.com, you can trade many, many more. Trade and chart them all right there on MT4, uh, along with crypto and bonds and all sorts of commodities, uh, metals, tons of Forex pairs. And just like with Blueberry Markets, we have hundreds of people from No Nonsense Forex over there right now, and they're super happy with the product and the service. So go down to the show notes and click the link for that blog. I also have the blog for Blueberry Markets down below as well, as well as, if you are an American citizen, the broker I recommend for you. It is the 10-Minute Contrarian Podcast, and thank you for joining me on this Saturday morning. Uh, starting a little later than normal, I'm on location, so you might also hear a little bit more ambient noise than you're used to hearing. Uh, but you might have also noticed this week that precious metals are starting to show a bit of life. And I would bet that there are many of you out there right now who are very interested in investing in precious metals mining stocks, but you just don't feel like you have enough information in front of you, and therefore you are a bit paralyzed, and therefore you are probably going to miss out on the big run once it does happen. This is not good. But I understand. I don't invest in things I don't know much about, neither should you. Now, people ask me for my sources all the time. They say, VP, where do you get all this information from? And I tell them it's a gift from God, but then they say, no, really, what are your sources? And I'm usually very hesitant to give them away. Now, this seems a bit, I don't know, just flat out cruel in a lot of cases. But I will bet also if there are some of you out there who have compiled your own sources over time, you understand it takes a while to curate these things. And then also what might work for me may not work for you. And then you run the risk of those people, and they're fairly few and far between, but you always remember it when it happens. You know, I, I recommended somebody, a man who has a newsletter service, and he signed up for the newsletter, paid money, and the first two recommendations tanked. And then he emails me to complain about it. You know, for those situations, I just I don't have any words. I never know who I'm talking to. You know, am I talking to somebody who gets it, or am I talking to somebody who clearly does not? Uh, but anyway, when it comes to precious metals, and especially the mining stocks, there's no way us mere mortals can sit there and do a bunch of research online ourselves and have any real confidence when it comes to picking the right stock. Because pound for pound, mining stocks are terrible. The mining industry is terrible. It's extremely hit or miss, and it's mostly miss. But if you were able to filter out most of the bad stocks, which you can do, uh, you just need a bit of help, your chances of hitting those asymmetric returns go up asymmetrically. So let's get you started on that journey. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a podcast that I like, a YouTube channel that I like, and then a paid service that I like, along with a book that I like as well. So we're packing a lot into one episode here. Let's get started. Now with the podcast, I feel like this one's pretty much an industry standard, um, but I don't really see anybody talking about it. And that is a podcast called Mining Stock Education. Now what you can do is you can go there on your podcast player. They also broadcast on YouTube. And you can just kind of thumb through the episodes. There will be episodes on there that show you how to do the research yourself. But more often than not, they're actually talking to people who recommend or invest in mining stocks for a living. And there are some extremely smart people on there. And then what you do from there is if you like them, you know, I've mentioned this before, go follow them on Twitter and click on their profile and see who they like, see who they retweet, and go from there. This is actually a very fast way to collect an army of absolute assassins when it comes to this industry, really any industry. You know, even running a simple search on YouTube and doing the exact same thing I just mentioned will let that army grow and grow. You know, I would recommend things like this as opposed to just asking somebody for their sources and having them hand it to you. you know, go out and customize your own. 
You know, these things pay huge dividends down the road. Now, speaking of YouTube, uh, this is a channel I have mentioned before. It just depends on how long you've been with me and if you can remember this. Uh, but the Baby Investments YouTube channel is a gold mine. B-A-B-Y Space Investments, run by a Belgian named Antonio. And Antonio has interviewed a lot of people in the natural resources space, in the energy space. And if you go there now, you're going to see it's pretty heavy into uranium as far as the recent videos he did. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you click on the playlist tab, he has his channel divided into all sorts of playlists. And you just click on the commodity you're looking for. From there, uh, you will often see people talking about particular stocks. Um, and I will say this, even if the interview was from, you know, nine, ten months ago, for example, the fundamentals on those particular stocks have probably, not definitely, but probably not changed a whole lot so that information is still very relevant and it's worth listening to. And as a bonus, I will bet many of those stocks they're talking about are a lot cheaper now than they were back then, uh, depending on which resource you're looking at. You know, I don't know any other channel that does this, you know, this prolifically. You know, I've corresponded with Antonio in the past. You know, he is every bit as invested in this as we are, probably more. And from those videos, you can find the people you like in terms of who he interviews and then go down that rabbit hole from there. I will link the Mining Stock Education YouTube channel and Antonio's channel down below in the show notes if you just want to go ahead and click it and check that out now. Uh, but you may want to wait. Uh, because if you're sitting there saying, VP, my charts are telling me that the time to invest in gold and silver mining stocks is either right now or coming up very soon, I need some great information and I need it right now. Uh, well, you are going to pay for that information, uh, but the good news is you're not going to pay very much. How many of you are familiar with Don Durrett? Don Durrett is one of my number one go-tos. Uh, when it comes to gold and silver mining stocks, he is my number one go-to. So for starters, he has written a book, and it is a book that I recommend to everybody. I will link it down below as well if you want to check it out on Amazon. Uh, and it's called, I remember it, but it's long. Let me look at it. How to Invest in Gold and Silver, A Complete Guide with a Focus on Mining Stocks. Uh, it came out a while ago, but he has updated it since February 2021. Uh, and this book alone is great. You know, it doesn't get too deep into the weeds. And uh, probably one of my favorite parts of the book is how he shows where he takes profit. He doesn't always do it depending on what the stocks themselves do. He has other methods, and I thought it was really sharp. Uh, because as sadly we all know, even people who have exposure to a lot of these stocks right now are going to get completely hosed because they don't have the money management part right. Nor do they pull the trigger on it when they're supposed to. Uh, but you're going to have to buy the book to find out what that is. And then the coup de grace in all of this, is his paid service. Uh, now, you're going to find a lot of people out there who have newsletters. There is certainly nothing wrong with those people. I subscribe to a couple newsletters myself. Um, but Don gives you an entire database. Pretty much, uh, maybe not all, but just about every gold and silver mining stock, definitely North America. Uh, he does touch on Europe and Australia as well. Um, but he has gone in and done such deep research. I mean, honestly, how long do you think it would take you to go and figure out things, you know, for any random mining company, you know, the CapEx, OpEx, ore grades, you know, all the different mines they have, permitting, managerial history, you know, what that even means, proven and probable, you know, what type of mining company it even is. Is it a producer? Is it a mid-tier producer? Is it an explorer? You know, and how should you adjust your positions based on that knowledge? It would take you a lifetime of dropping everything you're doing right now and dedicating yourself to this craft for 10, 20 years just to get to where Don is right now. What's that worth? If you subscribe, you get a full rundown of every single stock that he's gone over. Um, he will update you weekly with a newsletter. Uh, my favorite part is you can go to his actual database and sort, you know, what are his top 25 stocks overall? What are his favorite gold stocks, his favorite silver stocks? Out of those stocks, which ones does he believe has the highest rate of return over time? Which ones are the most risky? Which ones are the least risky? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm scratching the surface here, guys. This thing is comprehensive, yet it's still easy to follow. There's also a forum on there. Uh, I would maybe steer clear of the forum. That's just a, 
a pro tip from me. Uh, there's a lot of people on there who are very smart. They just, for some reason, get the timing so wrong far more often than they get it right. Um, but a lot of good information in there. And sometimes Don will chime in too, which is really the information you're looking for. Um, just, I would say, don't let that forum lead you too astray. It's easy to do. Uh, but once again, I will give you a link to that site down below in the show notes as well. Highly recommended. If you have not paid for a service yet, um, yet you would be interested in doing so, this is a great place to start. I, just, I don't see how you can go wrong uh, for the money it actually costs. Uh, how much? Oh, I did forget that part. Um, so yeah, so my subscription is getting renewed here in November. So from what I recall, it's like in the 125 to 150 range for the entire year, like 125 US dollars, possibly 150 on the high end. I should have looked this up, but uh, it's right around there. And the whole what you pay compared to what you're getting ratio is just off the charts. Like I haven't even described half the things on that site. You know, jurisdictional risk. Um, how much has the price moved in the past month, three months, year? This place has everything. And whether you think gold and silver mining stocks are going to go up anytime soon, a lot of us can agree that now is a great time to at least start diving in. Um, because as you guys saw with uranium, and you might soon start seeing with copper and with oil, once these things take off, you can still get in. And often at times you should. Um, but the time for that tremendous value has passed you by. How many times already has this value passed you by? It doesn't pass me up. I'm active. I have my sources and they tell me when to go. And then I let my charts do the rest. I will not miss out on this. And neither should you. Now, for the record, I do not have any affiliate deals or any kind of deals with any of these uh, fine places, but just thought I would take an episode to give a few of them away to you. And what you do with them is completely your call. And if any of you are listening to this on YouTube and you want to add some more sources that you like down below, help the community out, feel free to do so. Just do not put links because all links get deleted. Some of these places do have affiliate links, and my comment section is not a marketplace for those links. Um, but if you love the natural resources and commodity space as much as I do, and you actually plan on being active here, you need to surround yourself with the right people. You know, not just me. I'm just the gateway drug. What you do with this information and the people you surround yourself with are going to go a long way in determining your overall success down the road. And as we have determined on this podcast, that success can be absolutely life-changing. So it's really up to you. You know, most people's social media is filled with famous people and athletes and singers. Uh, to where the majority of mine is filled with macro people and mining experts and investing experts. Major figures in the crypto world. You know, to your average person, that's going to seem crazy. Uh, but here at the 10-Minute Contrarian Podcast, you already know we're not crazy. We're just early. <laughs>